Live now, the increasingly common way to start a tweet. Twitter-owned Periscope has quickly taken off as the informal, immediate way to broadcast what's happening. It's being used for everything from journalism to entertainment, even corporate training. Sylvain Kalash heads up Wild 42, a network of 3,000 French tech engineers in 40 cities. At this San Francisco gathering, he's using Periscope to live stream a talk so members can follow remotely. Kalash says the technology helps to share knowledge and build bonds. We are a community. Community is all about people. And it's kind of cool to see that you have some Wild 42 mates everywhere in the world doing the same thing, like meeting between each other. I think it makes you feel that you are part of something big. Live streaming may be all the rage, but it's nothing new. Originally founded to connect troops abroad with family, now popular with big businesses, Ustream predates Periscope by about eight years. CEO Brad Hunstable says everyone's finally catching on to the vast potential of video. Whether it's the, the quality of the mobile networks like LTE, um, whether it's the fact that everyone now carries a cell phone with a camera in their pocket, people are used to using video through Netflix or through YouTube. And so there's just a, it's a convergence of a, of a variety of factors that are making it so powerful. Powerful, but also potentially illegal. Rights holders were up in arms after live video of the Mayweather versus Pacquiao boxing match appeared on Periscope, even if it was low quality. And it's not just sports at risk. Media giant HBO sent takedown notices over live streams of the Game of Thrones premiere. Because it's all in real time, Periscope and Meerkat are harder to police than traditional video upload sites. Some of the battles that have been pitched on sites like YouTube or Vimeo are really just brought into, into starker focus. But Higgins is concerned regulation could damage creativity. People down the line are going to come up with exciting uses. And so, so it, it's not up to Periscope or Meerkat to invent those uses, it's up to them to give the tools to people and get out of the way. Periscope says in appropriate circumstances it will terminate a user's account for repeat copyright infringements. But for now, such offenders are small fry.